All right, y'all, I'm Jonathan Joyner. This is Hunt the Front. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you something that I've never shown you here on the channel, and that is my first race car. I've been uh, nominated, I don't know how many times I've lost count, for this Facebook challenge deal where you're supposed to pay, post a picture a day for 10 days. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it on my Facebook page, and there'll be a link to the in the description to that page. But I wanted this first picture. This is the picture I'm gonna post for the first day. I wanted to tell you all about here on the channel because it's my first race car where it all got started for me uh, as far as driving goes. You'll notice in some of the pictures that I post in the coming days that you know I've been around racing since I was a kid, racing with daddy and, and that kind of thing. But as far as driving goes, this is where it all got started. So I thought it'd be interesting to bring you all along. What I wanna do is take y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all about the, the race car, my first race car, my first win. Uh, and that kind of stuff, but I want to take y'all and show you where it is today. We still have the car It doesn't look nearly this pretty and it's got a tree growing through the middle of it But we still have the car out behind the big shop in the uh, the boneyard I guess you could say so quick before we go uh, I want to remind y'all about our Christmas shipping deadline on our hats and our t-shirts and our hoodies uh, Beanies all kinds of stuff. We got online. It's at huntthefront.net slash shop and you got to get your order in by December 18th uh, and if you do that, we'll get it to you in time for Christmas. Also wanted to let you know that on De December 22nd, uh, our sponsors TVR, Teal Valhalla Racing, are having a big eye racing event. Y'all check it out, 500 to win. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to their Facebook page where you can get more info on that. All right, let's go uh, check out this old race car and I'll show y'all where, uh, where it ended up and where it's been for the last, working on 20 years. This, uh, this picture was taken in March of 2000. I'm set, sitting there behind the wheel of the race car, standing beside me there holding the checkered flag is my twin brother Joshua, our go-kart racer. And then beside him there is our buddy Mikey who used to go to the races quite a bit with us back in the day. This was Southern Raceway. This was after my first ever heat race win uh, there at Southern. They used to pull the, um, the heat race winners down onto the track to take their pictures at intermission. So this was my third night ever uh, racing, my third event that I had entered. I had actually won uh, the heat and feature the night before at Flomington Speedway in Flomington, Alabama. So I was feeling pretty big in this moment, the moment this picture was taken, I was feeling pretty confident about myself. I had just won the night before, heat and feature, and I had just won the heat race uh, the very next night. I was feeling pretty confident I was about to win the feature that night as well. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. The car, by the way, was an early 70 model Nova and I was 13 and we put it together right here in the same shop we race out of now. What are you working on? Pit bike. Pit bike. Jenny Hayes' pit bike. My pit bike. Ruckus. Somebody got on it left a key on Uh oh. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. No, <laughs> it was probably Tennyson. <laughs> so we built the car right in here. It looked like, I got some more pictures I wanted to show y'all. It looked like this when we got it. That is me and Joshua standing in front of it, right out here. Oh, you got it cranked. You got it cranked? Hey. Miracle juice. <laughs> yeah. If your motor won't crank or your whatever. Starting fluid will do it. You use a little, a little well, ether. If it's set up for a while, a little ether, so she'll come from there then. Do you remember that, uh, much about that first car? The, uh, the Nova, my first race car. I think we flipped it about the third race. That's about what I remember. <laughs> it was. I think it was more like the fifth or sixth. But was it? Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm taking them down back to see out back to see it. See this? Boy, that was fun. Yeah, man. right, right out front there. Right. <laughs> Me and Joshua used to be. It's a neighborhood now, but we used to be. We had plenty of room back there, old field, and uh, we made a few corner, a couple corners out of clay and had us a little track where we run it. All right, we're gonna go out here and show y'all the car, it's out back. There's one race car. That's the Y2K. Yeah, whole nother story on it. A dump truck. Growing up a little bit since I was out here last. Don't know the way, follow me. All right, you know the way? Daddy does his squirrel hunting back here. Sometimes, huh? Yeah, one that, you know. There it is. So there's the first race car. What did we decide it was? A early 70s model? Yeah. Not a no, uh, Nova, but a Omega. Omega. 
like equivalent to a Nova. Yeah, yeah. But we bought it, it looked like that. Eventually we painted it and there's what it looked like. That's probably the first race, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, it up and Yeah, we painted it, we taped it off and spray painted it. Had that trailer for a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's Joshua there, a go-kart racer. There's Joseph. And then me and Teresa. Okay. Right. Yep. Back in the day. Yep. March 2000. March of 2000. Right yep. Yep. So I had more than a four-point cage in it. I was wrong about I that. We, Got added the, we added those bars. Yeah. I remember we pulled the dash out of it. It had all that dash and all in it, yeah. all that weight. And they, they didn't have a weight rule back then, so we pulled it all out. And that took all the weight off the front. So the next time we went back to the track, all it wanted to do was push because then all the weight was on the back. Yeah. <laughs> my first race, I, I don't remember my first race. I remember going out there and practicing and getting on the track for the first time. And that was that was fun. I don't remember the first race, but I remember my second race was when we went to Flowing Within and won. Yeah, second, yeah. race. second race. Put it on. Yeah, I think, I think we drew the pole, won the heat, and won the feature. And I remember being like surprised, like I couldn't believe it. And you were kind of like, you weren't surprised. I guess you kind of expected it. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> yeah. That was a Friday night. They used to race on Friday nights back then at Flomington. The next night went to Southern was when this picture was taken. Southern Raceway, sometime in March of 2000. Had won the heat and feature the night before, and I just knew I was going to win it. Uh, the feature again. This was after I'd won the heat race. And so I knew I was going to win the feature again. You remember what happened? You know, I do. Boy. I started outside pole uh, in the feature. And I, you know, I was expecting to win because I'd won the night before, yeah, won the heat, they, they, you know. They yeah. Far you did. So I started on the pole. I don't remember who it was, but the guy beat me to the corner, and uh, then he slipped up high, and I got under him. And I thought, here's my chance. I'm gonna pass him, and we went into three and hit and cut my right front tire down on lap one. Bad, bad. <laughs> and they all drove by me. But I think it was the fifth race. So we went back to Flomington, and uh, I think I was running like second or something, yeah. second or third in the feature, and they had a guardrail back then. Got and I got up on it, it, rode down the guardrail, and till it ended. Yeah, until <laughs> the guardrail and then flipped, out and the wall yeah. started. And then I flipped, and here's the result. <laughs> Let's tell you how small I was. Look how much of a of a, an extension we needed. Here's the bottom, what I sat on. They made made you um they made you have a passenger seat back then. You could put a racing seat in it, uh, which is nothing like today's racing seats. <laughs> but you could put a racing seat in it, but you had to have your passenger seat which was good because Joshua could ride with me <laughs> around the neighborhood here. We pulled the motor out of it and the rear, rear end out of it and all that got put in that car. Flip that one too. Let's see if we can get over here to it. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know you were going on a, an adventure today, did you? Here's my second race car. 70s model metric frame. I think it's a Buick Regal or something. That thanks daddy on it. Also, the Jesus lives. This one was done after uh, Jeff Gordon. He had a paint scheme like this sort of at the time with the blue car with the red flames. Anyway, flipped it at Southern. I ran it a year and a half. It lasted a lot longer. The rear end and the motor went in it. And this one came out here. And here it has sat for man, man, since man. March, uh, probably April, April, May or two, uh, April or May of 2000. Oh, hog class. Oh, what they call it no cautions till we nope. started, I mean, yeah the year i started they started having cautions before that they didn't even have cautions only somebody was on fire upside down that's it there's some chipmunks live here and them dogs when they can't find a squirrel they get out here after them chipmunks they'll be up under them cross ties and over there under that stump them <laughs> dogs will be digging after them. Mm -hmm. that's a good one too yep that's it that is it flomington that's probably the night either the night i flipped it or the night i won yeah, the only two times it went. Yep. Year. Think we'll ever do away with it or just leave it sitting there? I, I, I'm a firm believer in leaving them there. That way you don't replace it with another one. <laughs> That's why they're here. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, I don't want to get rid of them. Yeah. We got enough collectors yeah, we don't back need there. To go down that way again. Yep. There's the first race car back here in the boneyard out behind the shop. That's only, what, 50 yards from the shop? Yeah. I'm going to post this picture, It'll be on my Facebook page. I'll be sure to check that out. Uh, and then I'm going to post a picture a day for the next nine days, whatever it is. Uh, I'm also going to, on our Patreon page, I think give a little 
background of each picture just a short video two or three minute video each picture i post i'll try to tell them tell y'all about on there <laughs> that was another thing we went down there for was to look for uh one of his dogs but we didn't find him i'll get it anyway that was um a little bit about my first race car it's all it's down there i don't imagine we'll ever do anything with it um but it's there also wanted to let y'all know that we've been seeing your comments uh from our last video about the for sale or the old 56 y'all seem to be leaning toward the for sale most everyone around here is too so good chance we'll be running this car next year and selling the old 56 stay tuned for if that if you enjoyed this video let me know in a comment and uh we'll try to do some more i know it's a little bit different video uh that style than what we normally do so if you enjoyed it let me know leave me a comment tell me what you thought and uh, maybe we'll do some more of that stuff might start by telling y'all about this old car sitting back here that y'all ask us about all the time anyway like subscribe comment huntthefront.net slash shop get your christmas orders in before december 18th don't forget december 22nd tbr is having 500 to win uh, iRacing event. Check that out. Catch y'all next time.